Yes, sir. We back at it once again. I go by Money Man. This is my life story, 702. I want to say thank you to all that's been coming to the channel and showing love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you can share, I'd be grateful for that. And if you want to support the channel, um, you can always hit the Cash App, um, uh, Jeremiah Leo 29. Um, that would be um, helpful as well. I'd be appreciate that too. Um, I just want to say, just stay tuned in. We have a lot of upcoming um, vlogs I'll be doing, I'm showing you guys my daily. Um, little vlogs uh, what what I do in the day and how, how I stay you know um, striving and um, not giving up and uh, working hard so y'all see a little a little bit of that I, I'll have that on the channel as well um, please um, hit the comments let me know if y'all got any ideas what I can do to keep the channel more excited and interesting and for you guys as well um, this is Myron <laughs> from Fresh and Fit, um, getting real juicy at this uh, woman. Um, so stay tuned in. Um, let's get to it. Yes, sir. We back at it again. It's you like you see a guy with ten girls. He has status. That's awesome. But you don't know what it took for the man to acquire the status. What do you think? Yeah. The girl goes you said a girl is eighteen. She's pretty and she, she, pretty and she gets just, invited on a yacht. Is, Not every girl is pretty, you know. Especially growing up. And you, do you know why? <laughs> Average <laughs> girls have more marketability than celebrity men. That's what you think. No, it's true. No, that's what you think. Because you know what? Let me tell you something. Okay, I'm it's just going to explain to you the difference between. Stop one second. Go on. Because you don't know what you're fucking talking about. I know what I'm fucking talking about. I'll tell you why. Because I'm there's, a woman and average, I know the work it takes no, for a woman no, to get to a stage no, where she can even be attractive no, to a man. No, don't, don't think that women don't, don't do anything. Because, they don't no, just no, wake up and go by the bed, you know? They don't do shit. And not only that, we have more emotional work than you guys do. We go to the gym. Stop. You're mad to make sure. There's completely, way more. be quiet, hold on. There's completely average women that we know that have come on our fucking show and had sex with A-list celebrities yes. off of our show. Yes, men's standards because are lower. Yeah. But that easy. proves my point. They okay. are easy. They just want to get their dick wet. Oh, my God. You're not refuting my point. That women, <laughs> average chicks, have access to exceptional men. Okay. However, average That's men nice. cannot attract exceptional women. Do you understand that? No, no. Okay, yeah. Exceptional no. women. That's fine. So, therefore, Go hold on. on. So since average women are able to attract exceptional men, by definition, that means women live, have dating on easy mode. No. Because their no. burner performance is lower. Look. look. This is what I mean. Y'all no, no, yeah, they have they have just women, no, women, 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 no, we women, do. women, 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 not dating. That's no. it. Serious we relationships. We don't have, on easy mode. We don't dating have commitment on easy mode. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't have stop, marriage stop, stop, on easy stop. mode. You're able. Yes. Hold on. This is what you're I'm trying to say. Not when, like no, 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 no. And if, and if you're not, if you don't get wife, that's your fucking fault. It comes back to women not having accountability. You can at least get in the room with Future. Yeah. You can at least get in the room with Drake. You can at least get in the room with a fucking NBA player and show yourself there. I'm not getting a chance with Rihanna ever, no matter how much status I get. I'm not getting a chance i have to build myself up to be in that room with those bad bitches you guys don't that's the difference and you could be an average fucking girl yeah. i know average girls that have no future hanging out with future right fucking now that's yeah. the difference that so good. you cannot yeah, yeah, yeah. sit there and tell me that oh if women have a heart no you fucking don't man okay. no you don't no, women. and that's a little factual you know uh we'll keep it real man that boy myron you know keeping it solid right there you know average women do have a lot of opportunities to be able to be in a room with high value men and could be able to change their life. When it comes to men, like you say, you have to work. You have to build yourself up to become that valuable person for another, you know, you know, woman that has more to look at you in that way. It's, it's true. What do y'all think, though? Is it, you know, what y'all think in the comment section? Let me know. Is he right? Is he wrong? Is I'm wrong? Tell me in the comment section. Let's get back to it. And also, like, let's get a goal right now. Let's try to hit 
a hundred likes on this video, man. Um, I appreciate it. If y'all could, I never reached my goals, even when I put five, but <laughs> let's try to, you know, I'm reaching to the stars. Let's get to it. Wait, women women have it easy in every facet of life not really and the problem is we've had women's empowerment content telling us we've had it so hard but the truth of the matter is we get into college easier we get jobs easier we can get into relationships easier there's no part of life that Praise is not privilege. easier for a woman people are just nicer to us because we're women mm -hmm. and, and and then we go out and we, we think we're so oppressed but we're really not that's not really like, like if you if you take a, a man's life in 2024 <laughs> and a woman's life in 2024, women objectively have it easier because like, cause, and again, you have the privilege of saying something ridiculous. No offense, with all due respect, but it, I'm using this as an example to show how women lack critical thinking skills. You have the privilege of saying, "Oh, just have some status and you'll have women." Moderate, <laughs> what does it take? And it's and to get status. It's because like, it's what? so much. It's so much easier for women to get status than men. It's so yeah. much easier. You guys for are us to born with status. Yeah. Moderate, if you're attractive, that? how many useless fucking yeah. bitches are on Instagram right now? The key word is no, if you are on, attractive. Oh, Thank it's not you. Hard, it's not hard to be attractive it as a female. It is actually. You can get right. surgery. You can do filters. And that's easy. Yeah, men can do that too. You have access to money. Really, you can risk your life for beauty. Okay. That's dead. Hold on. If you really want to go up, you can. But you can be average, put filters on your shit, and be attractive. There's regular girls, bro, that get DMs from top tier guys. They have uh, access to these men. And usually Myron, what they Myron, do is Myron, give what was that you retweeted? Myron, 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 what was that thing you, you retweeted? Um, earlier when the, the guy did like 11,000 swipes or something on dating app. Yeah, he got like, uh, what did you get, 70 dates in the like end or something? Like 17 dates, uh, swipe the right, like, uh, yeah, like 11,000 times 11, or some shit. Comes average out guy. 70 dates. A average yeah. guy. And and the, only... and the, yeah, exactly. And, yeah. The, and the bar for women, like like he said, the reality is the bar for women to be considered attractive and not hot, not super beautiful, whatever, but attractive enough is, is significantly lower than it is for men, right? You know, a girl, as long as she's kind of slim, she's kind of pretty, she's in the room. Right? She's Fine. in the room with Drake. You know, she can put Got some it. makeup on, she can do a bit of, you know, whatever. She's on the yacht with Drake. It's not actually that hard. That's you know? different what, from marriage material, is there? though. Well, that is, that is, that's a, that's a different matter. But yeah. like, yes. like, like Myron said, but the, but the reality is at least you're, you're in the ballpark then. I get so it, yeah. then you've got the opportunity. You get to, the opportunity. Yeah. Like, like, Fair enough. It, and this is why I don't respect, like, when you guys sit here and say, oh, I want to do this or whatever. Like, women don't have to earn their value. Like, if you meet a top tier guy and he doesn't commit to you, you suck. Why can't we call women losers? Why can't we tell them you just suck, like you're not attractive? Because if you go on a date with a guy, right, and you have good girlfriend traits, you're not annoying, you're not a fucking bimbo, you're not stupid as fuck, you're not fat, you're not crass, you're not obnoxious, you're not a, like all, then, like a guy will probably wife you, bro. So my thing is like, if you can't get wife, that's your fault as the woman, but at least you get the opportunity to meet the man. That's what I'm trying it to makes say. Y'all yeah. get to take the shot at least. We don't even get to take the shot unless we pay, pay to get the fucking basketball. Like, mm -hmm. like, I don't think women get that shit. You guys get the shot. We don't. We have to be exceptional to even get an opportunity. I feel sad for the kind of women, uh, for you, for the kind of men that you know you guys are because you surround yourself with a lot of race oh, girls. Wow. Boom. Yeah, exactly. Actually, can I, can my it's always one that's got to challenge it. <laughs> what y'all think about that, man? Let's keep going. Um... Is he right when he's speaking that? Um, is she right? Um, let me know how y'all feel. Let's get to it. My girls don't act no, like that. Okay. I have no, to say, and the, and, my, and, my, and I must say, you. no, you've not met my girls actually. <laughs> you met people are, that are I chose you, to bring leaving? on your podcast you actually. Leaving? Look at her in the green. She like this bitch right here. Stews. <laughs> Let's get to it. The other girl don't even want to look up. She like man. What did I step my? What did I? What did I put myself into? Look at this shit right here. <laughs> Just look at everybody. She's walking off. Okay. You've not met my what friends, bro. I'll there? tell you that much. Mm -hmm. You know, Just, you know yeah. people. You know some people that no, I know. actually I want to speak on this because. Yeah, I, hey, if you can, you can, you can, you can leave. I, hey, we just have a rule. We take your IG off. It's cool though. If you gotta leave, you gotta leave. I totally understand that. That's totally fine. You can go. You, you can go. You can go. Sorry. That's okay. fine. All right. No, because that was that was something that I thought when I first came on the podcast was that, you know, not all women are like this. Um, and I just kind of thought that Myron and Fresh were just interviewing Miami girls. Um, 
uh, until I moved to London across the pond and I got the same responses from women from Africa, from Italy, from literally all over the world um, that, that they get in Miami. Um, you know, women are women. We just have nature. What was that nature? Sorry. Being delusional. Yeah. Okay. Being delusional. Same as men. Yeah. Like you're okay, literally, you're, you, you, you just tried to argue with me that a woman's dating life is uh, similar yeah. difficulty to a man's. And it's just uh, like not bro, true at all. I'll tell you, you why. Get the, you get the, wait, you bro, get hold on, bro, bro, hold on a second. Right, go ahead. He, tell he me addressed how. me. Let ahead, me tell you something. How. For example, okay. Me, I single, I'm stepping out. Me, I decide to be open-minded and give men opportunities to speak to them. And what I find... Hey, sorry, 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 my bad, my bad. Okay, and I'm telling you, for facts, in modern day, the same way you guys can complain about women is the same way we complain about men. For me, I find it to be... I actually find it very difficult to even speak to men, not just because of what I look like, it's also because of the fact that a lot of the time men will be thinking... Okay, she thinks like, you know, she's comfortable. She's very much, you know, established in herself. And they tend to challenge me for no reason. They're not even nice to me. So me, I'm not going to lie to you. The same way you complain about women, I complain about men. Yeah, it will be easier for me if I want to have sex with a man, but it will be much harder for me to be able to respect a man to a point where I will say, yeah, I would marry you. Oh, yeah, I would give you the opportunity to even get close to me that way. Because a lot of men are letting themselves down in what it even means to be a basic man. So it's the guy's fault. No, I'm just saying, that I'm not saying it's the guy's fault. I'm talking from my perspective. The same no. way you guys can complain is the same way I complain. You guys find it difficult. Because you going, you, you, you just like, oh, like you're going for the top 10, 20% guys. Like, you got to think about it. You said you given opportunities. I don't think all guys are looking at you in that way to want to challenge you. That's just how I feel. If you saying you're open and trying to give guys chances yeah, I don't think you run into every guy like that like that don't that don't make sense unless you're trying to go after the same percentage of all women's been trying to go after this 2024 they all trying to go after that hundred and you know hundred thousand and up mark of course you're gonna get them answers or that same challenge or you know like what, what y'all think let me know in the comment section let me let me get back to the content well, i find it difficult but you're not refusing any of his points yeah i'm not saying all. that i'm just adding my point okay. i also find it difficult so a i don't useless think it's okay. useless points useless well, for you but it's well, my experience let's, so I can let's just be objective compare. here let's be objective here um let, let's do a little bit of accountability you're 31 years old yes you're a fairly masculine woman so you say you are well, I don't you know. A lot are. of people tell me I'm not. They say that it's re it's dependent on the man. If you find me masculine, it's maybe you're not masculine enough. No, That's no, no, what no, they no, say, no, no. So I'm just you're saying. you're you're not agreeable, right? Not with you. It, you're just not agreeable, which is a masculine trait. You pursued higher education. You work in the professional world. You. Have... I, I'm a teacher, so that's a feminine prof a profession, really, isn't it? Are you a teacher? You said that you counsel yes. people. Yes. Behavior management. I work with children. I help them. Okay. Again, actually. you don't have children, right? And you don't have a man. No. Okay, so you're pursuing career. No, I'm not pursuing a career. I'm just living my life because I have bills to pay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, whether you want to accept her or not, right? <laughs> yeah. Women get really mad when I say this. Pay? No, that's fine. Yeah. But the fact that you have bills to pay yes. means you have to step into your masculine yeah. to work, to not be agreeable. I'm not, not trying to shit on you. Yeah, no, that's fine. But working and pursuing higher education, etc., inevitably masculinizes you as a female. Well, I believe that for, for me, higher education gave me the opportunity to be around men of value. Let's go back to the original point setting. that I was trying to make here. And it does add value be to me in Africa. Women being educated is a good thing. Okay. Look, again, that's, that's great. But what I, all I'm simply trying to say here is because you're saying, oh, well, uh, I could complain about men too, blah, 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 all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. You do understand that at 31 years old, being a fairly masculine woman and having a higher, a higher education, etc., actually hurts you when it comes to finding a man, right? Well... I'm not going to lie to you. What I'm doing right here is I'm talking to you, somebody that I don't necessarily agree with. But I don't surround myself with people like you. So the people that I am oh, around that, I, that are more like the people that are my type, we don't need to disagree. In fact, I don't have this experience with other men. I only have it with men that come on this podcast. So really, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm the problem. Maybe I'm looking at you guys and think that you probably just... What? Like, she just contradicts herself. How you said just... Why? Like, they... This is what they forget sometimes, like what they say, you know, like I noticed like when I was in relationships, I caught 
you know, the female in lies because she'll say one thing and then a week later or two weeks later, you'll bring it up and then they forget that they said the other thing. So they say something else. Like you just said two minutes ago that you give opportunities and people challenge you and, and, and this and that and the third. But now you send the people you hang around with and, and you try to deal with that don't. Like, what are you talking about? You see everybody like, what the fuck? Like, what is she talking about? I don't understand. Okay, let me be objective about this. If you're 31 years old as a woman and you haven't been able to find a guy to take you seriously that you oh, actually that's not why admire. I'm single. Hold on, stop. If you're not, if, if you're in your 30s and you haven't found a man to that you love, admire, and respect, and oh, that's yeah, going to yeah. take you serious and reciprocate, you failed as a female with the plethora of options that women have nowadays. Well, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Um, for example, I'll, I'll quote this. Jordan B. Peterson says,